CO, I'm Tanya Weevil, Education Director at the Cherokee Heritage Center. This morning we're going to do a small tutorial on how to do Cherokee beadwork. The style of beadwork I'm going to show is two needle applique and it was used by our women 200 years ago and forward. Thanks to the resurgence led by Martha Berry, master bead artist. Several of us have learned this technique and I'm going to show you this morning how easy it is to do two needle applique. The first thing you do is you want to get an embroidery hoop and you want to line it with muslin. This is your waste canvas. You can draw your design. I drew mine with a sharpie or you can stitch it on and by stitching it on what I did was I drew with the sharpie on the muslin and then I base stitched so that you could see the outline on the outside. It's a cleaner way to do it and you can do more detail if you stitch it. So I stitched and I have um, drawn with the marker. The next thing you need is a bead needle. Your bead needle should match your bead size. So I have size 11, I'm sorry, I have size 10 beads this morning and a size 10 bead needle which is very long and very thin and it goes through the beads. That's my first needle. I've already loaded some beads onto my needle. The second needle, <clears throat> because it is two needle applique, is just a working needle, a sharps needle. Very simply, you hold the beads in the line you want to <clears throat> bead and you simply stitch from underneath capturing each bead as you go. So I'm going to lay my thread over the bead and back down into the fabric. Today I use felt. Our ancestors used wool, a medium grade wool. It was known as strad cloth, but it's hard to find strad cloth these days. You can uh, tack down every bead or you can tack down every two beads, whatever's comfortable. I also need to say that in Cherokee art, there is no one right way to do anything. Cherokees adapted the skills to their style, and um, so we don't have one way to make pottery, one way to make a basket, one way to do beadwork. You can go two or three beads, whatever looks good. The trick is holding some kind of tension on the beads so they line up one after the other. And you continue to do so until you've beaded your project. The only thing that limits your beadwork is your imagination because you can draw any design. Cherokee beadwork uh, historically was curvilinear, had floral images, had geometric images, and I encourage you to Google Cherokee beadwork, perhaps Martha Berry's page, and see the beautiful work she's done. She's been honest and true with how Cherokees did beadwork. I failed to tell you one thing. Let me take a step back. You want to be, uh, use wax. This is natural beeswax. It comes in cubes like so. I've cut this off for convenience. And you wax your thread by simply running the beeswax over the thread. This helps keep your thread from tangling. Of course, there are a lot more detail to how to do intricate Cherokee beadwork. But once you get this particular two needle applique step down, you can do just about anything. Here's a small project that I did, a small purse, and you can do one too. Thank you. The Cherokee Heritage Center is a nonprofit organization. We rely on the generous support of people like you. We've been open for 57 years, completing our mission, which is to preserve, promote, and teach Cherokee history and culture. I hope you've learned something new this morning. Happy beating.